I want to remove the RSI real quickly. Let's take a look left here. Remember, I'm going to pull this back into the hourly so we can look at that hourly pattern that just completed. Okay, so in the S&P 500, we looked at the swing high. And then yesterday, we talked a little bit about identifying that X to A. So from the swing high, market press to a new structure low, there's the X to A leg. Okay, then it retraced A to B right here, which was around the 618. I want to pull in a 30-minute chart so you can see. From this A to B, it pulled back B to C, only a 382 retracement of the A to B leg. Now, remember yesterday, we looked at two different things. Take your low at A to the high at B. And now we'll look at the 382 retracement. See how it pulled back to the 382 around 04s. And then also we ran from the swing lows at A to the highs at B. We ran the projection. And that's where the 1414 projection found confluence with the swing high at X down to the lows at A, the 7 or the 786 retracement. So there was the pattern completion, 1514 to 15s. Now obviously it pulled back down right here, tagged the initial target, which is the 618 retracement of that low to that high. And now you can see a bit of a bear continuation pattern. So from the pattern completion here, we pulled back X to A. Now let's take this down to a 15 minute. You can see we drove down into new structure lows. So here's the high at X, lows at A, retrace. And you see the volatility caused right here by the news event. So we'll go grab the swing high right there. And now try to extend this. Look at a 1507 previous resistance acting as support. So again, be very cautious. If you're trading those hourly patterns, pull it back down into a 15 minute and try to find pattern in a pattern. Then you go down to a five. And you can get all turned around. Focus on whatever time frame you're interested in trading. If you're a 15 minute pattern trader, focus on that 15 minute. And right now it'd still be a sell pattern. This one setting up right here is going to be a buy pattern. Let's watch the retracement. Here's the swing low at A to the highs at B. So here's the pullback. If this holds right there, again, there'd be the aggressive buy at the C leg. Okay, so let's walk through and identify. Here's X, the swing high. Here's A, which is the new structure low on the 15-minute chart. Retrace, A to B. Extend, B to C. And again, we talked about using one of these two. So you can see here, because of the time frame, this would be a 1505 quarter bid, stops below 1503. Look left, there's a 275 right there. Okay, so stops would have to be below there. And then if we get the AB equals CD, then we drive right back into the 1515, which is the pattern completion at D. So we'll edit this guy, copy it and paste it. So there's the game plan right there on a 15 minute S&P 500. Now we want to go ahead and drop in our retracement, look for ration confluence. We know that we've got AB equals CD one to one. Going to pull in the 886. It's 157 or 1475. And then let's run a projection. Yeah, so very low risk. Stops right there would be 17 quarter above that swing high. So there's the aggressive bid play right there with about three and a half points of exposure. From the 05s, if it does nothing more than retest that 15, 12 half, that's seven points of opportunity. And then a drive back into the 15, 15, which is where the hourly pattern sell right here came in and held. Okay, so there's the S&P 500.